Well, I got lucky, and I get to visit this man right here. So let's go in and check him out. We're in his studio here outside of Dallas. It's one I designed, and I'm proud of how it came out. He's going to tell you all about it. But I'm locked out because there's a keypad, and I don't know what the code is. So here we go. There are security protocols hey. to enter the studio. You have to have the code. You, hey, sir, though, are welcome to come in. Good to see you, John. How are you doing? Welcome to the studio that you helped build. Welcome to Texas. Welcome to Dallas. And welcome to my little old town. We're lucky. We're having a heat reprieve today. It's only about 95 today, yeah. so it's yeah. comfortable. It's a, it's a great day. But, yeah, welcome to the studio that you helped make a reality. It's great. So, so we're on the upper floor of a barn here, yep. an, out, an outbuilding. And um, well, tell us a little bit about well, tell us a little bit about the kind of work you're doing here and how often you're in this place. You know, it, it, the the thing about being a voiceover uh, actor is that you're in your studio all week, every week. So I'm in this I'm in this room fifty to sixty hours a week working nonstop. So when we built this, I wanted a place that was very comfortable to be in on a on a long term basis. And we created that with a full bathroom, full kitchen. I have a place for my assistant. Mm -hmm. And then I have a, a very beautifully designed, very soundproof studio that I can work in under all elements. So like when George and I started originally talking about building the studio, one of the main challenges was it's in a barn and barns have metal roofs. And a metal roof can be incredibly loud in the state of Texas when it's raining or hail or wind. It's like a drum head. It's just, it's <laughs> massive. It, and it's, you know, it's a game changer. And you want to be able to work at any time, you know, regardless of the weather. This is what we call quiet on demand, by yes, the way. Quiet we on demand. Quiet on demand. <laughs> so, you know, we, you know, George came up with this, with this plan, you know, to build a studio. And he said, basically, or you said, basically, you know, if you follow this plan, you're, you're going to be soundproof. You're going to—I forget what number you said. What I think we throw some numbers at you. We're, we're going for a, like a 60 STC. Yeah, maybe is what we might have said over my yeah. head. But whatever it is, <laughs> you know, it's nice. And uh, yeah. so this is where I work. This is where I sit out here in the main room. You know, most of the day. And like I said, you know, I got you know my purified water over here. I drink all day long. Got some beautiful artwork that we're about to hang up and you know make it even more homey. Uh, but I sit here and do all of my main work, and mm -hmm. then then we go into the booth, you know, to where the magic obviously happens. And you know, yeah. when when George developed this, we we did everything. We decoupled everything. We used these decouplers so that it would there would be no, nothing touching anything going into the booth. These are like I, I like to call these engine mounts for your walls. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. The uh, you know we have a full floating floor built in, and then we have extra soundproofing since we're on the second floor underneath that floor. The doors were just typical Home Depot doors, but we took the glass out of one of them and we put tempered glass in one window and regular glass in the other window to help with the sound wave deadening going in. I bet you didn't know that. You can you can upgrade your glass. You can upgrade your glass. Mm -hmm. And my, my big party trick is, is, you know, when we walk into the booth is to crank up the audio. So we have audio playing out here, and when, when we walk into the booth together, you, you won't be able to hear it. Let's do that and, now. And as we walk in, you know, I, I've got the massive dual walls. I've got two inches of dead space in between. I've got two uh, layers of, of sheetrock with the green glue in between. I've got the special wool insulation, the air gap, and I've got it all repeated again. And then the air gap, obviously, between the um, tempered mm -hmm. glass and the regular glass. Right, right. Let's do it. Right. Close the and then as you door. shut the doors, you know, the world goes away. And uh, the big thing that I really wanted in this booth was a view to the outside world. Yeah. Because otherwise you just go crazy. Yeah. You know, you got to have natural sunlight coming in. Fortunately, I live out in the country and we have a beautiful view out the back. You know, no houses back there, just yeah. just the trees, which are have no leaves on them because it's so hot right now. Right, right. And but you um, get farm machinery out here sometimes. Yeah, I've sent you those videos. Those are yep. good videos. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I live on a I live on a U87 and a 416 mm -hmm. um, on an Apollo setup that George also set up for me. You can see that the old ISDN box is dead, never to return. So no more a $800 a month past. bill. Yeah, a relic of the past. <laughs> but yeah. it still sits there and uh, mm -hmm. does this thing. I had a, a custom desk built for this room. Yeah. You know, so that I could have my speakers here, my, my monitor up, and my little cubbies for my Apollo and, you know, for my, my speaker controls. 
It's nice. And, um, it's just a real, and then the, the really nice thing about this booth, which uh, a lot of my voiceover friends are jealous of when they come hang out and they, they borrow the booth, is I've got a full AC system in here. Um, so this whole back wall is, a, is another fake wall. Behind that is a massive muffler system for my AC unit, which is the send, which the air is coming right out of above George's head right here. Right. Yeah. And then I have another full muffler system over here, which is the return, uh, because you have to be able to get the hot air out. That's right. Bringing the cold air in. And in some cases, more hot air than others. A lot of hot air for me. <laughs> yeah. Totally. And uh, so it, it just, you know, even in 177 degrees, which is, we're having a very unusually hot summer here. Yeah. This room is just a, so easy to work in. Because, you know, if you're in a two-hour narration ses- a session or you're in a three-hour yeah. anime session, it, you don't have to worry about getting hot. I was going to ask you, who, who are your most difficult clients in terms of just audio quality? They're really sticklers about sound. You know, everybody, you know, uh, I, I work with a couple of engineers uh, that are just audiophiles. Mm-hmm. And they they want the cleanest, best. They want Source Connect to be at 98. You know, they, they want to hear every little nuance and um they all love the booth i mean i i have had several uh different companies especially the anime companies mm-hmm. and the um they and the um you know anytime you're doing a character voice uh if you're new to work with them they're going to want to booth check and they're, they're going to want to have their engineers check you out and i've just i mean they're like this is your house this is the best booth we've ever heard and you're checking them out over Source Connect or what Source Connect, mostly Source Connect. Okay. I mean, there was a time back in the day that you would do it over ISDN or or Source Connect now. But, I mean, post-pandemic, I mean, everybody's on Source Connect. Mm -hmm. It's just become, you know, a staple that we use on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. And then also they've asked me to to send in audio files with very, very specific directions. You know, we want you on this mic with this setup. We want you to be at this volume. We want you to yell and scream, and then we yeah. want you to be, you know, soft and silent. Do they have you move back and forth from the mic too? Does that happen ever? I've like never get had closer, that. further? No, I've never had. Heard that. about that with video games? I think yeah. that's a video game thing. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, so they're pick, they're picky. They, oh, they, very, they, very they, picky. They want it to sound great. And the and the fortunate thing for me is, you know, I, I'm I'm very fortunate to be in a space like this that's not only comfortable to be in all day every day. Um, and also the temperature regulated, so I don't have to worry about getting hot. Um, but it just, I mean, it just sounds so good. Yeah. You know, and George was able to come in and, and basically, you know, George, you know, all over the phone and all over audio files and whatnot, George tuned this entire room, you know, specifically for me to be able to stand, you know, right here. Let's be clear. Yeah. I, this is my first time ever. Your first time ever in here. Being and here. This booth's been built for, gosh. Is it five years? Oh, it's longer than that. We all, we, we have to add two years for the pandemic for everything. Now. Yeah, true, true. So it's... Over six years. 12 years. I think I think we built this in 2012. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. So glad I could finally get to see it in person <laughs> and yeah. hear what it sounds like more importantly, because that's that's mostly what I care about. Well, but it's, it's I, it looks great, too. I tell everybody, um, you know, people reach out to me all the time for audio advice, you know, you know, whether it's my mobile rig or my home studio or whatever. And I, I, I tell them, you know, do what I do. Call George the tech. I mean, because he's the guy that set it up for me. And he's the guy that's got all the brains up here to make it happen for you. Hmm. You know, and, and um, you know, when I have a problem, dude, I appreciate you being there for me because it has happened from time to time. <laughs> and once in a while, you may not reach me. And now we've got other people to back oh, and me. They, Tim they, Friedlander is on our team. Tim Robert Marshall. My, uh, Tim saved my ass, I think, three or four weeks ago. I mean, literally, I had done something and, and I couldn't get Source Connect to work. And I couldn't, I mean, I, I was like, and I was in a deadline. Those guys are my number one and number two yeah. because they uh, they know Source Connect and they know Pro Tools both really yeah. well, and they both know the Apollo. And so I think that, Tim was also laughing under his breath because it was such an easy fix, and I was sitting there going, "Oh my god, I should have known that." <laughs> That's the way we want it to be. We want it to be an easy fix. That's the idea. Oh, it was. Yeah. He had me up and going. I mean, I, I you know I think I paid for a thirty minute session. He had me up and going in like two minutes, and then we sat and shot the breeze for Gabbed a few minutes. A little while. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, man, it's such an honor to get to see you and meet you in person for the first time, see the place, and hear the, how it's working for you. If 
I mean, I, I hate to even mention it. I don't want to jinx anything, but if you could do it over, what would be one thing maybe you would do differently? Uh, you know, anything? to be real honest with you, I mean, we were so detailed oriented in putting this together. It wasn't a rush job. It wasn't a rush job. We took yeah. our time and we did it right. And, uh, you know, mm-hmm. I, I, I can't really, I mean, there's very rare times in my life that I would say this. Mm-hmm. Um, but I can't really think of anything that I would do different in this room. That's great. You know, you know. I mean, obviously, There's if I had some tweaks you've made, right? lots of tweaks and, yeah. and lots of you know, moving things around and making yeah. it work. Pro- you know, you know. But with the space that we had to work in, and the and and the constraints that we had with you know, like the slanted roof of the bar and yeah. all of that stuff. I, I mean, not a single thing I would do different. I That's mean, it, great, it man. just came out so so well. That's fantastic. Yeah, I know you also have some interesting internet. You've got hardwired of course absolutely but you do also lean on some pretty new tech you're doing starlink stuff now huh uh i like to travel uh i i, I you know i'm a big outdoorsman my wife likes to go on vacations and uh and so we've got an rv that i've got a voiceover booth built in mm-hmm. that we can show at another time and then and then I, I just like to get out i just like to get out of dodge sometimes and so starlink which is elon musk's satellite internet has just been a a lifesaver. Before Starlink, I had a thing called a cradle point that had three SIM cards in it, and I was paying close to eight hundred dollars a month for prioritized, you know, cell service. And then every time we'd go somewhere, I'd have to launch this big directional antenna and yeah, dial a it in. Yeah, I had a mast, and I would dial it because we like to go you out to aim it. nowhere. Yeah, so I'd have to get an app up, find a cell tower, aim it to the cell tower, cross my fingers. You know, we'd be in Rio Doso, New Mexico in an RV park because the temperatures were cool, and we're just like, okay, there, we're dialed in. Now, regardless of where I am, I pull out Starlink, throw it up, and I've got 200 and down and 50 up, and I'm doing sessions and working like nobody's business. Mind-boggling. Is it hard to aim? No, you, you you find north and you point it. That's amazing. And, and within five minutes, you're online and ready to go. Wow. And I've used it in Belize recently. I've used it, you know, in the middle of nowhere, Egypt. And, you know, as long as you have a clear shot at the north sky, you have got internet access. Got it. And even here at the house, you know, I've got... Uh, I've got two wired internet services coming to my mm-hmm. house, but even that's not enough every once in a while. And in our business, everybody knows if you're not available, sometimes they have to go to the next guy. So yeah. I'm always available. And yeah. they were doing some construction and they knocked out both lines. And so I threw up my Starlink and I was up and running in five minutes and I didn't miss a beat. <sighs> so it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's yeah. a true game changer. And it's also so reasonably priced you know, it saved me, you know, $400 a month over having that cradle point with all of those SIMs in it. Right. And you're doing so, Source Connect over that. We used to think that 100%. the latency would be uh, un- untenable over satellite, but this is a different animal. Well, the huh? rumor is, is that I'm the first person to ever do a full Source Connect session over over Starlink. No kidding. And I, I can tell you, I've done probably over 100 now. Incredible. And just like anything, you know, every once in a while you have a dropout, but yeah. you have dropouts over, you know, fiber no internet what. as well. Yeah. Um, but nobody, no no extra delay, no anything. I mean, it. The Starlink is so good. In fact, we were, George and I were sharing a story earlier. I was on a, on a jet the other day that had a high-speed Starlink on it. And a buddy of mine, Brandon, and I were just for fun, we did a, a Source Connect session you know, audio that you could not use because it's obviously the the airplane noise is too too loud. Mm-hmm. But we had a solid connection and zero dropout. And I was going 225 miles an hour over Alabama. It's just hard to believe. It's, it's just hard to believe. Yeah. I mean, that's how that's how much, you know, it, it's, it's a credit to um, Source Connect because of how hard they work on that platform to make it reliable. You know, and it's a credit to the new technology, you know, that we're able to really be anywhere in the world now you know, I could be driving my Jeep, you know, in the Teton Mountains, you know, on a four-wheel drive trip and have to do a session. I just throw the Starlink up, throw a blanket in the window, have all my settings that match my studio perfectly, and I don't tell them <laughs> that I'm not here at the house, and, and they don't know. And I'm, <laughs> I'm good best. with that. So don't tell anybody. That's the don't best. Don't tell anybody my secret. Nobody's watching this <laughs> Nobody's going to see this. We're going to make sure. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, John, it's been a real pleasure. I'm really glad we could finally meet. Thanks for taking your time out of your day to show us this place it came out lovely and uh just makes me feel so good 
having you feel this great about your space and enjoy working in there. It's, it's an awesome place to be every day, and, and, I, and I appreciate your help with it and your ongoing help, you know, whenever, whenever it, it, its need arises. <laughs> we try to have as few errors as possible, but you are using Universal Audio, Apollo, and Pro Tools. Yes. So there's more likely there's, things yeah. might happen. And Zoom. And Zoom. Way. Zoom and has its own. And Microsoft Teams and Google Meets and, yeah. you, know, you know. Whatever the client wants. Whatever the you're client wants, it. man, I'm, I'm there for it. <laughs> and, of course, before you leave, we have to wrap up the party trick. We're in the booth and we can't hear anything. Hold on. Let's listen real close. Hear anything? I don't hear a thing. Barely registers on the meters. I don't even see them moving. Yeah. All right. Let's open the doors and see if there's still some music playing. It may, the music may have stopped. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we still got music. <laughs> You opened the inner door, and I still didn't hear anything. Yeah. It wasn't until you opened the outer door. And now, now we can hear those classic Bose 801s. <laughs> yeah, and that's, you know, so I can have friends up here, you know, having a conversation, having a good time, keeping me company, and I don't have to tell them to be quiet. I can just go in there and go to work. So It's awesome, man. Thanks, that's John. It's a pleasure. Brother. It was really fun seeing the place, <laughs> meeting you in person for the first time, and I'm real proud of how it came out for you. It just makes me feel great to see you enjoying it and using it for what it was designed for. Well, from all of us voiceover talent, we thank you for always being there for us when we need you. So, and I gotta turn that radio, I can't even hear you, I gotta turn the music (laughs) on.